Telstra blocks access to 4chan, 8chan, LiveLeak in Australia. Here's a summary of the article. Several websites including 4chan have been blocked by major Australian telcos for continuing to host footage of the Christchurch terrorist attack. Telstra on Tuesday blocked access to 4chan, 8chan and Vote, the blog Zero Hedge and video hosting platform LiveLeak. Vodafone said while blocking requests normally came from the courts or law enforcement agencies this was an extreme case which we think requires an extraordinary response. The Talco Industries peak body said the decision to voluntarily block domains was made due to the extraordinary circumstances involved. These ISPs have sought to balance community expectations to remove access to the video with the need to minimize any inconvenience that may arise from legitimate content being blocked as an unavoidable, temporary consequence. Communications Alliance Chief Executive John Stanton said in a statement. A spokesman for the SAFT Commissioner said she did not provide any direction or advice to Australian ISPs in regard to the blocking of websites. The office does not have the authority to direct ISPs to block domains but can take action to remove content shared on Australian hosted websites. This post received a score of 36,946, with an upvote ratio of 89%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. In related news, VPN sales skyrocket. You don't even need to do that. Just like with the anti-piracy blocks it is only a DNS block. Changing your DNS to Google, Opendons, or 1.1.1.1 will give you unfettered access again. Telstra users are saying this isn't working. I'm on Telstra HFC and it works. Dot and you are better off anyway. ISP DNS servers are shit and unreliable. Well Telstra is anyway, note to those that change, some websites have long caching so the block might still be in effect after the change for up to a few days, it might not happen overnight but it will happen. Win plus R, CMD, enter, ipconfig, flush DNS, enter. Ipconfig? Or have things changed that much since I used Windows? Why not Facebook? He did live streamed it there. That would cause uproar with the masses. Censorship is okay as long as it doesn't affect me, etc. But where will the Aussies shit post now? We're gonna burn Reddit to the ground just like we did the Chans. Now that our containment has been broken we are unleashed upon the rest of the unsuspecting internet. It's fine, most of us can't read Australian anyways, so it'll be like nothing ever happened. You best start believing in Aussie threads. You're in one. Our PUN sane UCC. They did it to prevent people from watching the video of the NZ shooting, however, predictably, Facebook, the main culprit is conveniently ignored. Not that I'm advocating for Facebook to be censored, I don't think any of it should be. I just need to call out the double standard. Not that any of the companies give a single shit. And LiveLeak even has a post up saying they intend to delete the NZ shooting video whenever they find it on their site. Which seems odd given the other content it's known for. I was surprised when I saw that. It's really fucking dumb. Why is there such a hysteria over this specific video? Where was the hysteria when ISIS chopped of heads, threw down gays off building and lighting them on fire? Sure it's a fucking awful video. But stop with this hysterical bullshit. It really drives me nuts. They did remove the ISIS beheading video, the journalist won, it just took them a little while to decide upon that, it was available until that decision was made. I believe, but may be completely wrong, that it was the first time LiveLeak had actively censored something and there was a bit of UN uproar about it. It was quite a long time ago, my memory may be deceiving me. His name was James Foley. I watched that video and swore to myself I would never forget that man. I watch those kinds of videos because I believe that I have a moral obligation to. Terrorists should never be glorified. But we should never close our eyes and pretend it didn't happen. The victims deserve better than that. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.